So, the other day we went around Melbourne, the learning comments, and we asked this very simple question. So now I pose it to you. What would you change about Melbourne? If you had one thing, you have two things, you have three things, what would you do? What would you change? Besides tuition. <laughs> Intersection safety. Intersection safety. Well, what we did is when we posed this question to everyone, we realized that students have a voice, they have an opinion at the school, and oftentimes, unfortunately, that opinion falls on deaf ears. So we believe that students need a voice. Students, not even just in Malvern, all around the country need a voice in their education. And Harrison and Robert talked to us about more about what they need. So over these past few days, we've actually gone through the learning commons and asked kids, do you think you have a voice in Malvern? And as of this morning, an overwhelming them said, no, they don't think they have a very big voice in Malvern. And what little voice they do, they think it's not very impactful. Yeah, basically we posed the same question and the majority stated they either had a voice or they, they didn't really have, they didn't think their voice was impactful. And no one really knew how to get their voice across, get their voice heard. They didn't really have any solutions to this problem. So we thought of... So what ended up happening is these students need to be able to make an impact in their school. And thus we came up with Project Impact. So if um, Oliver and Jane are going to hand out some flyers. And Impact stands for Improving Malvern Prep with Academic Collaborative Tactics. Collaborative effort on that name. But we got it done. So it is just to be going around. And what Project Impact is, is our prototype, is a one week camp of sorts where uh, students come together and they get to voice their opinions about what they feel is wrong with the school, they feel they make the school better. And then what happens is they come back after that week improved. And the, the school comes back and they have new fresh ideas of what the students really want and thus improving the school. So it's, al it's almost like an open forum where a lot of the students, in our opinions, see like the teachers have the control and the students are just doing the assignments, writing down notes. There's no, there's kind of a gap. We're trying to bridge the gap between student and teacher relationships, where students are feel comfortable voicing their opinion, and basically, there's no gap between learning. There's, there's no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I know that might sound a little like radical. A lot of you are thinking, like, how is this going to work? A whole student-based learning center. Like, what's the difference between how the teacher is going to be controlled? But yet the students still feel like they have freedom, and this is where we really went on with Project Impact. So, basically, the potential of this is astronomical. We have the ability to put the power of learning, not solely the teacher gives the assignment, the student does the assignment. The student can kind of pick and choose what he wants to learn. In a sense, it's more college oriented. It's more of a college. So it's a college prep school, not a preparatory school. So it helps you out in the real world in the sense of. You get to not necessarily, I want to learn uh, watching surfing videos that it's cool. Well, there's going to be guidelines and such. But in a sense, you pick your interests. And, and that, in turn, can have the school improve tenfold, twentyfold, hundredfold, and just making it a better learning environment for students all around. So the potential for this, if this camp takes off, is astronomical. This, I, this prototype we have, these uh, individual weeks during the school year, is just the beginning because we would like to integrate this idea of student voice into the whole student life at Malvern, where it's, no, it's not like a camp, it's not a specific week set up where you can voice your opinion, you can voice your opinion anytime you want. Eventually, what we want to do is for us not to have a need for an impact week. Because impact week is every week. Anytime you want to voice your opinion, you have the opportunity to do so. You have the opportunity to have your voice heard and have it listened. Have it, that's not the right word, have it heard. That's right, have it heard. That's what I meant to say. And uh, Project Impact, ha or Unification is, has a great part, part on Project Impact. It combines the uh, life aspect as well as the academic aspect into, the, into one project. And it's truly of what Malvern teaches us and what Brotherhood is truly about.
So if you look at your flyers, this is impact one. This would be the first week of impact. So this is, this is our prototype to start out. So we know you can't completely go all across the world and change the teaching style. Well, like 100% so everyone does it. So this is how we're going to start out. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with impact one, which will be based off here at Malvern and branch out from there. And pretty much what it is, is a one-week camp from Monday afternoon to fr uh, Friday morning. Mm -hmm. And pretty much what happens is you, uh, the Friday before everyone goes, it's blind, so you, of course parents will know where they're going because legal purposes and such. <laughs> students, will not know where they're going. <laughs> students will not know where they're going. So the Friday before they're going, they'll call them all into a room and they'll ask them what the, the five, what are the eight, what are the ten like top things that you think is wrong with Malvern. And then over the next two days, uh, the leaders who are also students, the veteran students who have gone on this trip before, they will go and they will see what the top problems the students think are. And Monday morning afternoon when they first get there, there will be a town hall meeting and then we will address the five uh, main topics that came up. So then what happens is, is Tuesday you come and you wake up and you get split into teams. Now, they're going to be freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors here because you must complete one impact week before you graduate. And there's a certain amount of freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors you're going to bring, thus uh, breaking down age barriers, becoming more of a unit at Malvern, not just a senior class, but a high school as a whole. At We're Malvern. trying to get genuine experiences, like with the blind uh, location, almost like genuine, taking kids out of their comfort zone making them collaborate with each other, like breaking down barriers and yeah. meeting their goals. So Tuesday you come in and all the things probably talked about on Monday, you get to pick one, associate the problem, and then over the next couple of days try to work on a solution, and then Friday morning you get to present in front of the board of directors, high-ranking Melbourne officials, and department chairs your problem and your solution to how to make Melbourne a better place. And that is Project Impact. Well, there's a lot of talk. <laughs> I, I well, I mean, that the possibilities are endless with yeah. this. Basically. There's a lot of talk about the language department. We had more languages or a different way, variety of teaching languages. That was one question that kept coming up when I was talking. What way do you have now to voice your concerns and want to wear um, we could, the way we have now is we go talk to the head of school, the head of curriculum, and, and no say, suggestion box by the students. Not really, no. There's, 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 really there's a student council, but there's not really a suggestion box running to it. There used to be town hall meetings, but we don't do that. There, there we go. Basically this, we're trying to constantly be improving Malvern. And it's... Uh, I think it's very interesting that you guys generated this idea in you know, accordance with what's happening here at this school and what they're trying to achieve here. The only thing that input I would be is that once you, you have these opportunities, you have to be responsible, whether it's, whether it's delivering this, what you say you're going to do in this week, because if you're given these freedoms, you know, it's not going to be make up the test tomorrow. So along with these freedoms and your expanded learning comes out at responsibility. And I'm, I'm sure, uh, I assume that you've, yes, you've yes. taken that into consideration. And I am very impressed with you guys coming up with this based on what the head of school is trying to do with this educational system. Okay. So kudos. Thanks. Yeah, well, well thought out. You guys really seem to get down to the nitty-gritty, the details of it. And I think it's interesting that a lot of these projects kind of would integrate very well together. Mm -hmm. You might have been breaking out into groups, but you all came up with things that could, none of these would have to be mutually exclusive to any of the other ones. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.